what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Logistical Styles coming at you with another video. This time we are out in the great outdoors and I am here to show you this uh, speaker I picked up. I got it delivered a couple of days ago and been doing some testing with it. And this is a battery powered, rechargeable, portable speaker. This is uh, the Samson Expedition Escape Plus. Got it on Amazon for about maybe uh, $119, I believe I paid for it. But uh, when I bought this, I was looking specifically for a speaker that I could use for uh, my outdoor portable session. So when I'm outside and I want to hook up my uh, Newmark portable deck, or if I want to use the Newmark DJ to go to touch, if I want to use that, or even if I want to make beats with my iPad and uh, my setup with that, I want to be able to get out and about and have a speaker that I don't have to rely on having to purchase batteries for or having to have a power source. So I came across this. This is actually a very basic speaker, but um, it's very handy and it does the job. Uh, it's got a couple of features I really like about it and I'll just go over it real quick. Uh, one thing I really like is the fact that you can pole mount it. You can mount it on a pole. This is a regular speaker pole and the hole is made to fit and uh, it works well like that. Then you can also, you'll notice it has the uh, slant on the side so you can use it as a uh, wedge for your monitoring when you're on stage. So this is a really good option to have. Um, you can use it for and now when I say stage, I don't mean like a big stage, but your performance area, you can use it as your, your monitor. Uh, and then uh, you can also just stand it upright on a table. But for this purpose, we're going to put it on the pole and uh, let you see what we're working with on the back. So it's a really simple speaker. You have a mic input channel. Uh, this takes a microphone input, line input. If you have a device that has its own volume control, you'll have to control the volume from the device. Um, there is a volume knob on here, um, but it's like one of two volume knobs. There's the main volume knob that controls the overall sound that comes out of the speaker, and then this volume knob for this microphone input or whatever you decide to put into it. They also have a USB port here that uh, you can use for their uh, wireless mic that you can buy separately. Uh, it connects by a USB connection and it's a wireless microphone. <clears throat> you can also pair it with Bluetooth so you can stream from your phone or your device to the uh, speaker directly. So that's a pretty nice thing to have and that volume of course is also controlled by whatever device you're streaming from. <clears throat> you have a main volume that controls the overall sound and then you also have an aux input which is like a 3.5 millimeter or a 1 8 inch uh, headphone jack that you can connect uh, another device to. And uh, it's pretty handy. It's exactly what I need for those uh, scenarios I described for, you know, the portable turntablism, portable beat making, or even portable just mixing out and about for a quick little um, session. Uh, it's a 50 watt speaker. It's got a 6 inch uh, woofer on the bottom and a 1 inch tweeter on top. Uh, weighs about 10, 10 and a half pounds, right under 10 and a half pounds. Like I said, it is a rechargeable speaker, so you just charge it up. It says it gives you about 20 hours, according to the box. You get 20 hours of uh, continuous playtime. I've only been able to test it for about three hours of continuous playtime, but I think I might, you know, just set it up as a test overnight and see how well it performs. Um, but the cable that you use to charge with it, uh, it's to charge it with is a pretty common power cable. So if you should happen to misplace the one that came with it, you can easily find another one. Um, I actually saw that uh, Samsung, they have a video on their YouTube channel and they show you how to replace the uh, rechargeable battery should it ever um, fail. So they, they guarantee you, well they don't guarantee you, they advertise uh, 20 hours of battery life, which is an improvement on the previous versions of this. It used to be the ones I saw, they get about maybe eight to ten hours of battery life but they also had some other features on it as well they had um, more uh, channel controls and a couple of more LEDs for showing the battery strength so um, I figured that they decided to strip a lot of features away from previous versions of this to come out with something that's a little bit more affordable and actually just gets the job done um, you got a simple power switch right here Use. I'm going to demonstrate using 
this uh, AlvoxCon microphone. This is the one I did a review on uh, not too long ago, maybe a few months ago. And just showing you how well this works along with how well they pair together. Uh, I was previously, you know, sending this out with my uh, Harbinger speaker that has the, the mixer built into the back of it. But this is like an even more compact system. I've seen people use it for wedding ceremonies. Uh, as I was doing my research on YouTube. So I can actually see it being uh, useful for that. I'm gonna get a device for me to hook up so we can do a test. You can hear how loud it gets, but let's just test out the microphone for now. So, and uh, this carries on with the theme of portableism because remember this is a battery powered receiver and of course the, bat the microphone works on batteries. The mic batteries are not rechargeable, they are um, disposable. I could probably, you know, invest in some rechargeables, which might not be a bad idea. But uh, check one, two, 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 check, check, check. So like I said, this is the master volume for the overall sound from the speaker. And this is the volume for the microphone itself. If I turn down that and keep this up, you don't get anything. So, um, and this knob does not affect the, uh, the volume of the Bluetooth or the aux input. It only affects the volume of this mic input channel. Uh, everything else is controlled by the main, the main volume. So let's go ahead and get a, a device, probably get my iPad and we'll hook it up and let you hear, you know, how it sounds playing music. All right, so here we are. I got the iPad hooked up. I'm using the Anker 6-in-1 USB-C connector to get uh, sound from the iPad. And this is just a generic uh, aux cable I got it at the thrift store, 10 foot. And it's plugged directly into the aux input for the speaker. So let's see how it sounds. Let's run some sounds from a uh, launch pad. I play it at about between seven and eight. Yeah, seven and eight o'clock. I think once you start hitting nine o'clock and higher, especially if you have the volume turned up on your other device, then you start getting that distortion. And it just doesn't sound good. But for getting sound out to my immediate area, if I'm just you know performing out at the park or uh, doing some something in a small room this is just fine right here uh, if I was doing maybe like a wedding ceremony this might even work because you just need the background music and then with the addition of the microphone this is really all you need for a small keyword small a small wedding reception not re not reception ceremony this is what you would need for a small wedding ceremony or uh, a small speaking engagement. The mic is on. Check, check. Two, 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 one, two. Check, one, two. Check. So it's a good way to get sound and um, vocals in a small portable package. All right, so here we are with one more feature of this speaker. I forgot, I kind of glossed over it previously, but the fact that this speaker has uh, Bluetooth, it's very simple. You just go into your settings on your device, go to your Bluetooth settings, you hit this button to put it into pairing mode, and then the name of the device will show up as Escape Plus. You get connected to it, and from there you can just stream your music. Uh, it sounds like this. Just as good as if it was connected with the uh, cable. And what's really cool about this is you still have the option to connect another device into the aux input. So you could still connect another cell phone or another uh, tablet into that aux input and still have control over the volume from that device like I have with this. And then you can have your microphone hooked up. So you can get three uh, sources of audio 
plugged into this thing working at one time. Now, like I said before, I wouldn't go blasting it at you know full volume, or I probably keep it no more than uh, 80%, uh, just because you don't want to push it too hard. But it works great for an environment that's small, or when you just need the sound to not go too far. You don't want to disturb neighbors, or for whatever reason, you need to keep it reasonably moderate. So. Um, this is it. This is the Samson Expedition Escape Plus. You can find it on Amazon in the link below. And uh, until then, continue to watch the videos, continue to like them, share them, comment, and uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, we will see you on the next video.